Hi, in this video we're going to look at this problem and it says that a box with an open top is to be constructed from a rectangular piece of cardboard with dimensions 12 inches by 20 inches by cutting out equal squares of size x at each corner and then folding up the sides as in the figure. Express the volume of the box as a function of x. So first just to get a layout of this we can see that this inner rectangle here this will be the base of our box, so correlating to the picture, this would be this inner rectangle. And then everything else on the outside will be folded up to give us our sides of our box. Now that we have the basic layout of our box, we can see that there is going to be some restrictions on the values this x can take. First, x can never be negative because these are dimensions for a box. It always has to be positive. And it also cannot equal zero. Because if it were zero, there would be no square here to cut out, and we would just have a rectangle with nothing folded up. So we can write that x has to be greater than zero. We also note that if x was six or greater, this whole part would be cut out, because we would have six inches cut out over here, and then six inches cut out over here, totaling this entire length of 12 inches. And that would say that this whole side would be non-existent, meaning that on our box, this side would not be there, and this side would not be there, and we would no longer have an open top box. So we also have to have that x is less than 6. And we focused on this 12 inches because the 12 inches is less than the 20 inches, so that's the one we needed to focus on. Now that we found the restrictions for x, we can go ahead and see what the question is asking. It's asking us to find the volume of the box as a function of x. So first thing to note is that we have a formula for the volume of a box and it equals length times width times height. And even though this is an open top box, the volume formula will still be the same because we're finding all of the volume that's inside of this box. So the top part of it being gone doesn't really affect this. Now we have to put everything in terms of x. So first we can do the length. And looking at our picture, the length of our box will be this side. And this is represented here by this part. Because we can see that this and this will be folded up and will not be included in the length of our box. And since we know that this is x and this is x and this total length is 20, we can see that from here to here this length is going to be 20 minus 2x. Similarly, finding the width which would be this part on our box, we can say that it is 12 minus 2x. And then finally finding the height, which would be right here, the height of our box, and we would see that this is just the parts that are folded up, which is equal to x. So putting it all together, we would have that volume equals 20 minus 2x times 12 minus 2x times x. And simplifying, we get 240 minus 40x minus 24x plus 4x squared times x, giving us a final answer of 240x minus 64x squared plus 4x cubed. And this is our final answer. This is the volume of the box in terms of x. And then of course we have to state our domain, which is from 0 to 6. And this is our answer.